going everybody? Dylan Miraz here. And I'm doing a backdrop test experiment to for lighting purposes. And for this, I'm actually reviewing a toy to see if this works for lighting. Transformers Revenge of the... F not, the Reg not Revenge of the Fallen. Um, Cyberverse Megatron. Mm -hmm. This time I don't have a camera prop up, so I'm going to have to do everything with one hand. So... Yeah. It's Megatron. It's got all the Megatron details, like the helmet. The... Fusion Cannon, which for some reason has two barrels. I'm pretty sure in the Cyberverse show it only has one barrel. I kind of don't know. He's got a hole in his hand, like he's supposed to hold something, but he doesn't come with anything? Let me know what that means in the comments. And there's also a little gimmick with this one. See this little trigger in the back here? Well, little did, little did you know that Megatron is actually a professional yo-yoer. It's a little hard to control, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes really addicting. So you can thwack any nearby Autobots or even Decepticons in your way, and you could even do this. Like he's getting ready for a smackdown. And to pull it back in. See this little thing on the back here? You pull that up, and it should click back into place. For his articulation, his joints are a little tight. So... Uh, I'm gonna have to find a way to do this. I'm not sure if you can see that, but his legs are extremely tight. Kicks about up that far. Some nice foot detailing right there. There's a hole in each foot, which is weird. And he's got some ratcheted knees. <sighs> Again, very tight. So you can kind of make him look like he's kneeling. I'm actually curious. I'm gonna see if I can see if I can do this. Yeah, you could probably use him to heal or kneel, but the fusion cannon is just kind of a prop up because his arms are a little short. For his arms, you get... <laughs> I'm sure if you can... <laughs> this freaky looking thing. Not only does this play in his transformation somewhat, but I guess it doubles as like a shoulder joint. His other arm doesn't have it because of the gimmick. And also, just like the shockwave from the same uh, line, I guess... No head articulation. Boom! Bummer. Let me just get him back in the normal stance. So I can stand him up properly. You can also move the gun, but it's extremely tight. And when I say tight, I mean tight. The thing is, though, his elbow is not loose, but it's much easier to rotate than everything else on his body. Jeez. Now time to get on with this transformation, which I struggled with, but then I figured out I got a key step wrong. And also that tab right there on his arm also plays into the transformation. So, what you're going to do is, first off, raise both arms in the air. That the, the Energon Mace will, I'm not even sure if it's an Energon Mace, <laughs> Energon Mace will pop out because of the gimmick because it's spring-loaded. What you're gonna do is, oh jeez, flip the cannon down. There we go. He wants to split so bad. <laughs> flip that down towards the bottom. I can't do this without. 
There we go. I'm not sure if you can see that. Don't have a camera prop up. This is going to make things super hard. Fold his arms out like that. And tab this clip right here into the hole on the fusion cannon. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's like a hole right there. So you're going to want to collapse these two together. And be sure to line up. It's a bit of a difficult process. There we go. Now, onto the legs. Which are surprisingly simple. Gonna wanna... Gonna put the camera down again, sorry. Flip out these on both legs. Clip that into place. Like that. On my copy, it has a tendency to pop off, but you, you can just push that back into place and it falls off. And the same thing on the other side. Pull it out. Clip it into place. Now, what you're going to want to do with these little metal pieces here, pretty sure those are joints of somewhat, pull them in. Ow. Pinch my head. And these little tabs on the torso here are going to clip into there. Jeez, it's going to take a lot of just bending and flexing because they're not that tight of pegs. Just like that. Not sure if you can see that, but there it is. Oh, he's also got a screw on the back of his head. I didn't notice that before. Be sure those are pressed in. Be sure everything is nice and tabbed in. I'm gonna do a little bit of force just to get it just to get it all in. And behold! His Cybertronian tank mode? It's really nice. His arms obviously poke out like a sore thumb. It wasn't even meant to be a pun, I just <laughs> But I do like the detailing on the legs here. Little I'm not sure you can see that, but let me put that towards the light a little more. What was now the bottom of his foot is now, I'm, I'm guessing, supposed to be missiles of some kind. Nice little red line going on here. This is obviously him doing some kind of yoga pose, especially when you flip it over. Yeesh. And he doesn't have any wheels or anything like that, so kind of have to make him hover, I guess. And you can aim the cannon, I guess, but you're going to have to unpeg this because the pegging is so specific. And also, the Energon Mace still kind of works in this mode, but it doesn't stretch all the way due to the, the workings there. Just push that back in. Satisfying clicking noise. And that was the Cyberverse Megatron. I hope you don't mind the lighting difference or anything like that. Leave a like and comment what you want me to review next. Peace.